We're here at a sodden King George's field. The heavens opened, it was a bit like a horror film, but there was no horror show tonight as Kingstonian advanced in the FA Cup. Eight one winners. I'm gonna do it like the video printer. Eight E I G H T. Old school. And I've been joined by one of the uh, stars of the show, hat trick hero Daniel Ajakai. Um Dan, congratulations. Thank you. Um, first of all, what was that game like to play in? Because obviously the heavens opened during the first half. Yeah. It was all blood and thunder. What was going on? Um, it was a difficult one. Um, I think I think we had a, a lot of possession, which was good. Um, the gaffer told us to move the ball quite fast, and obviously the pitch was dry. It didn't really help us, uh, but we still managed to obviously keep control. And obviously, wait and wait, and wait. patient, patient enough for the first one to go in. So. First half was it was all right, but we just we just knew that we had to be patient, and the goals will start coming in. From the sidelines, it you know obviously we dominated possession. We were creating chance after chance after chance until that first goal went in. How do you guys kind of keep your cool? Because you must be getting a bit anxious as well. Yeah, we just know that there's games like this that we're going to come across, and it's just one of those ones where you have to be experienced and mature enough to know that sometimes it's not just going to come straight away. It will take a bit of time, and that's what we've done. We we waited and we was patient. Then once the first goal went in, second half it was it was always going to be. In. Different story. Is it true that if your name's on the score sheet, it can only be part of a hat trick? <laughs> Apparently so, at the moment. But nah, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get a couple, one, two goals, stuff, stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> too modest, mate. Too modest. Um, talk us through the goals. The first one was uh, kind of a classic centre forward finish. He burst through little side foot. Yeah. No. To be fair, I've been waiting for for those kind of goals. Um, I just been waiting for someone to see the the kind of through balls that from my runs, and luckily Jason saw saw me running and got through one on one and I had to slot away. And the, the second two, um, they both came from down the flanks. Yeah. Balls got fizzed in across the six yard area and you were there to put them in. Yeah. Was that something that um, the, the gaffer sort of spoke about before the game yeah. about getting out wide? Because obviously you've got people that are quite tricky on the ball, but today was a, a, not direct as in going long, like yeah. obviously did, but we were more direct going down the wings and yeah, getting think, the crosses. I think that's one of our strongest points. Um, we work on it in training a lot, uh, crossing and finishing. Um, full backs and wingers getting down the wing and crossing the ball and I just have to make sure I'm, I'm always at the front stick trying to get, get the ball in and that's why I've done luckily back to my favourite thing. <laughs> Elliot tried to blast in a, a late free kick from about 40 yards to try and <laughs> to try and steal that away yeah. from me didn't he? Yeah he tried, bless him, he got, he got two as well so it's always good that two strikers are scoring but it's, it's a team effort at the end of the day so just glad, glad to get through to the next round. And in the next round, finally, just ask you, Horsham here at home, yeah. is it better the devil you know, another team in the same league, or would you prefer to, to get someone a bit more of an unknown? I think, I, think it's a, I think it's a good draw to get someone in our league. Um, obviously, we'll know what we're, what we're up against and we'll be up for it. So I just can't wait for the game to be fair. Well, there you go. We'll bring you action of that one on KTV. But for now, Dan, thank you very much and take that home with you. Thank you.